Every business needs a website. The key is understanding your audience and the needs or goals of your business in order to guide you on which website to develop. There are different types of websites that fit different needs and in this video we look at five common and main types of websites. So let's dive in. So we will cover e-commerce website, business website, blog website, portfolio website, and system websites. The first one is e-commerce website. These are websites that showcase products with an aim of users to be able to purchase. Examples are real estate, restaurants, bookshops, furniture stores, boutiques, electronic shops, etc. Usually, what someone can be able to see and probably be able to con probably be convinced to make a decision to buy. An e-commerce is good for businesses selling products or something that one can be able to decide by just seeing. E-commerce allows users to select and shop and pay online and their products are delivered within their location, at their preferred location. Key points is that e-commerce websites need to be visually appealing, have a simple shopping cart and easy check-off system. It should be easy for users to browse or search for products on, their, on your website. Lastly, ensure that you have clear and correct data. By this I mean that the photos should be displayed. By this I mean that the photos displayed should be the exact products and the description should be right to avoid bad reviews and have less return products. The second one is business websites. These are websites that are most commonly for companies or businesses in the service industry. In this type of website, we showcase what the business does, who they are, their company portfolio and social proof or testimonials. Remember 70% of uh, users search online before making a decision to work with a client. Hence they need to have a website. Key points to note, copywriting is very key. This is how you write your content throughout your web pages. It plays a key role, it plays a key role in your online growth. Reviews and testimonies are very key because they give the customers um, an upper hand to be convinced that the services that you've written on the website you're able to provide. Clear click to action buttons are also very important. This is how customers are able to reach you and engage further on how they will work with you on the services that you provide. Examples of businesses that need this kind of websites are non-government organizations, government organizations, hospitals, institutions such as schools, restaurants, financial institutions, etc. Third kind of website is a blog. This is a collection of articles, videos or photos of a certain topic. It could be current trends on a certain field or stories or just educative information. Either be specific on the content you are talking about or categorize the content to make it clear for the users. Take note that you can have take note that you can still have a blog within your website if the information you're sharing is related to the services or products that you're selling. The key note here is that the, the articles should have the same layout or flow to make it easier easier for users who will be reading the content and moving from one topic to another. On moving from one topic to another. Also, make the information readable on different platforms like mobile, laptop, etc. The website blog should also have uh, different options that allows one to include videos, graphics, comments, and the blog should also be appealing. Examples are news websites, travel blogs, food blogs, etc. The fourth kind of website that we look at is the portfolio. This is mostly for people who would want to grow their personal brand, like artists, trainers, and other creatives. It also acts as a CV for a specific person. Key note here is to include visual appealing designs and have your portfolio featured. You do not need 
to highlight every work but pick the best of the best. Here, the images and videos are given high priority compared to the text since the creativity of the work sells. Examples of people who need this kind of websites are musicians, artists, content creators, photographers, etc. The fifth and last kind of website is the system website. These are websites designed with a database integrated. One of the common types of this kind of website is the education website. These are websites dedicated to teach people online, like Udemy. Users come up with a Users come to the websites to learn for a specific topic or a course. Key note here is to ensure that the website is very engaging to break the monotony. Include text, photos, presentation, interviews, videos, and it should be easy to use. These are the five main types of websites. If you have questions or you would like to engage us further, you can also visit us at ashagroupltd.com. Otherwise, like this video. And thanks so much for watching. See you next time.